bottles of wine do you think you had in the process of creating that jacket? <laughs> He drink more than me. <laughs> I started to paint in 87, 1987, and I did my first solo show in 2011. So I spent almost 25 years, almost 30 years painting in the street and uh, painting walls. The, uh, I want to see my name moving all around the city, or doing the big walls and expressing the, our culture. To, to me, it was important to represent the crew, represent uh, the, the name and, uh, and my people. Canvas, you have to cross the generation. You have to pass the generation. Graffiti is ephemeral, it's, the, it's, it's about uh, adrenaline, it's about representing, it's about the street. When I start to, to, to meet more universe, I say, okay, why I don't do silk? Why I don't do uh, glass, crystal, enamel, and then horology? <laughs> and then I got the opportunity to put my art everywhere. In 2007, yeah, 2007, I was painting in the in the in Lai Kwe Fong in Hong Kong, and then I met a guy, a French guy. He came to me Sunday afternoon with his son. He asked me to customize his son cap, and this guy invited me to drink a beer. I said, "Okay, I can, I can, I can customize your son son caps, but pay me a beer." And then he start to ask many questions. What is graffiti? Why are you in China? Uh, who are you? Etc. Etc. At the end, after one hour, I asked him if, if he's from Paris. Too many questions, you know. And uh, he, he tell me, no, I'm the director of, uh, of Hermes in Asia. I said, okay, good. Back in the day. To me, Hermes doesn't mean anything. I didn't know about know-how, I didn't know about uh, the universe of Hermes. And for joking, I tell him, you know, you, you should do a scarf, by a graffiti scarf. He tell me, oh really, you like it? You really like to do that? Yes, why not? But I didn't realize what I say. <laughs> okay, we have changed the, 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 the contact on the beer box. I go back to my friend on the wall. I tell to my friend, hey, I, I, I met a guy from Hermes. Tell me, okay, show me his business card. And I show him the, 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 the box, <laughs> beer. I tell him, come on, Congo, you're always talking with people in the street. You don't care, finish your wall. You, you take too much time. You know, the police will come to ask us about what happened, blah, blah, blah. I say, okay, it's, it's okay. Uh, the kid is, uh, is happy. Maybe the guy is the liar, maybe not. And a few weeks later, I got an email, really official email from this guy. And he asked me if I'm interested in doing a Windows display at the Hong Kong airport. This was my first step on the, with Hermes. And after that, they asked me if I want to do a scarf. I, I visit the Emile Hermes Museum. And then I understand, finally, what we're doing on street art and graffiti is a, is a kind of luxury. It's about time, handmade, vision of excellence. They fit me and they open my eyes to, to share my, uh, my, uh, my world with another world. And, and I start like this on the, on the luxury brand. I met Richard Mill uh, in 2015. Uh, I got a f we got a common friend. I tell him I'm doing graffiti. Graffiti? Yeah, you graffiti, but what is graffiti? And then I start, I start to show him. Uh, I was a solo, my solo show at the uh, Galerie Matignon. And uh, Richard's come back, come to the, vernis, to the opening. 
and, uh, and a few weeks later, he came back to me and asked me if I want to do a watch. I cannot lie, I didn't know the, the brand. Of course, when I met uh, Richard Mill and we start to talk, and I start to Google, to, 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 to research on the internet, and then pooh, I said, wow, this guy is crazy. And, and uh, when he came back to me and asked me for doing a watch, first it was a, I was really touched, and, uh, but I tell him, you know, if you're doing a watch, uh, I want to do something nobody's did that before. I don't want to paint a case, I don't want to paint a bracelet or something like that. You know, uh, I don't know, I don't know enough about the watch uh, world, but let's do something, you know? I tell me, hey, you don't know me, I'm Richard Mille. I said, okay. And then he tell me, nobody's painted before a tourbillon movement. I, I, I would like to give you the opportunity to try to do it. And, uh, you know, I'm proud. I say, oh, yeah, pff, tourbillon movement, easy. I spent two, year, <laughs> two years in, in, Swiss, in, in Switzerland at uh, La Chaux de Fonds and uh, developed with the people from, uh, from Richard Mill the all we can make it happen. And uh, yeah, a great, great adventure. I really enjoy to do that. And uh, I met uh, really passionate people. Uh, each part of the watch, there's so many ends working on the same project. So uh, yeah, about the creativity is in incredible, about the technology is incredible. And uh, yeah. The first time I've been in Singapore, it was for the opening of, uh, of uh, Hermes Boutique at the Scott Square. And the show was uh, really well received by the Singaporean people. And then I met uh, Kevin, Kevin Sia, the, the tailor. When I see his world with the suit, etc., you know, Oh, oh, he knows it shoes, it's the fabrics, you know, it uh, was, uh, for me, it's amazing. Then uh, we start to talking about uh, doing a project together and uh, why we don't do a jacket with the, with the painting. I'm Kevin, Kevin Sia from uh, Kevin Sia Bespoke. So we're bespoke tailors in the business for 10 years now, based in Singapore. During his first uh, exhibition in Singapore, we just had an um, immediate connection. We just started hanging out, talking about stuff. And then came the idea of um, coming together to create a jacket. It's something new for us as well. And uh, of course, we've uh, uh, specially created lining, which is um, uh, printed on silk, which bears uh, Congo's name and my name. It's like coming together. I believe in fate, whoever you meet, that's, that's just something about why people come into your life, uh, ending up doing certain things together, or even just sharing a glass of wine together, you know. It's beautiful in that sense. It's hard to explain sometimes. Sometimes when you try to force think of something, yeah, nothing it comes out. It doesn't work, yeah. Yeah, you know, just let yourself go. If you run out of ideas, head out to a bar, have a drink, meet somebody and, uh, you know, enjoy the process and something beautiful will just come out naturally. You, know. you respect someone, you, you enjoy to, to meet him, we discuss about wine or, or distillery of whiskey and it's all about stories. And tomorrow when you will look in this jacket, you say, oh, you know, uh, they created at the mill, but the mill it was on the building like this. It was just one floor. It, it was at uh, Kilang Jilang, and uh, oh, you remember he did he did uh, his first show here, and uh, and Kevin was starting his business uh, ten years ago, and when discussing about it, finally, it's not a simple jacket. It is a story. It's a journey, huh? A journey. It's a journey. Nobody can describe, right? Yeah. Nobody mm. can describe. You have a... Uh, L'air du temps. Yeah, yeah. In French, it means, it means uh, you are on the... on time. It's your time. Maybe it's like, it means it could be like this. 
So yeah, I, I did a painting and I was thinking about him, L'Air du Temps. And finally, L'Air du Temps, we, we do it. It's about stories. <laughs>